Hey guys, JT with a quick uh, RC update. Um, I saw through Instagram that Losi is going to be announcing a new two-wheel drive short course truck, and I'll put a link to this in the description. You can find a little bit more information on the Horizon Hobby um, website, but this kind of caught my attention in a way. Um, it does have one thing that you guys know I'm not too fond of, and that is this whole battery tray that's underneath it. Um, I, I'm just not fond of that. I don't know why um, Losi's doing this for a lot of their kids. But they seem to be, this seems to be kind of a go for it with some of their stuff. I just hope they don't start doing it for like their eight scale buggies and trucks and stuff. But anyway, um, I will leave a link in there for this truck. Let's see if this, I'm trying to see a, a top view of it. Here goes one right here. I'm trying to see, yeah, they did the same thing they did with the whole tenacity thing. So what they do is the battery goes um, in there, and they did say this can fit a standard size 3S LiPo. Probably not a long one, but it can possibly fit one in there. Um, I'm just not too hip on this. I don't mind taking a body off <laughs> to take to put my batteries in and out. Um, this was kind of something that was done in the 80s, kind of when I had a, um, a Rhino, um, a Nico Rhino and then the golden arrow and stuff like that. And it was okay, but when you took it off road and then brought it back, you're trying to switch your batteries out, your fingers and stuff and hands get all dirty. Sometimes you can't even get these clips loose because so much dirt and grind gets in there. And even with this, looking at this a little bit closer, um, you guys that run on the track and stuff, this is gonna get scraped up a lot. Now it is good that it has, I see a metal piece here, uh, metal in the front and the back of it. And it does have hexes. It looked like a Phillips at first, but it's not Phillips screws. But I just, I'm just kind of concerned about this. Um, I'm not sure if that is just something to help turn this, or I'm not sure. I just don't like this this battery tray being underneath it. But it does seem like it also comes with a new brushless system. Let's see if we can get this to work. Um, some new dynamite system. I'm not sure even what the motor is on it. Let's see if we can go in here real quick find out some specifications some specifications uh da, 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 48 pitch gears ground clearance blah 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 so 540 size motor um this thing does come with all metal gears in the transmission so they are gearing this if you was going to try to get this up for speed run spur gears 84 to 48 pitch gears uh um, doesn't say too much on the specs of the speed and Let's look at parts and accessories real quick. Sometimes you can find it there as well. I'm just trying to find out. So it seems like they are going forward on a lot of their kits, which is good with this DX2E active, like two channel radio, basically the radio that's going to have, you can't really see it too much here, but it's like three knobs for low, medium and high on there, which I think is a good feature. It really is. I mean, it keeps you from having, you could just buy a 2S or a 3S LiPo and just run that in there. And if you wanted more speed, just go from low to medium and then to high. But I don't see specs on, oh, do, 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 on the speed control. It's probably somewhere in there. Um, I think I went to the low side. I didn't see anything, but I just briefly bounced over there to check this out. But they do also have a running video which is right here. Let's see what this looks like real quick. We may as well view it while we're here, right? <laughs> mm, their body. Mm. Um, let's see. Get this thing to come on. Full screen is unavailable. Okay, whatever. Turn the music down some. I'll leave a, a link in the description to this video too, so you guys can check that out. Um, the body seems it's just it's a unique design. I have to give them that. Okay, it comes in two colors, orange and red. And they probably designed it. So it does have ABC on it, which is good. And this thing is $2.99 as well. Pop a little willy there. <laughs> 
So they probably did design this thing, the body, so it's a little bit more aerodynamic because you see they got a lot of jumping videos and it's not parachuting in the air. And by that, a lot of times when you jump short course trucks, they like this and then the wind catches and they kind of go back. This happened to me when I first had my slash years and years ago when I ran on the track. So, um, okay. So anyway, guys, I'm not going to go too much into this. I wanted to show this to you guys. Uh, leave your thoughts down below. I'll put a couple of links. So I just wanted to inform you guys about this. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe and stay tuned for more videos. Thanks for watching.